While we all love watching the sometimes tense negotiations unfold on Shark Tank, we're just as curious about what happens when the cameras are gone and the winners go home with their cash. Kim Nelson of Daisy Cakes joins us from Columbia, South Carolina. She walked away with a big investment from Barbara Corcoran. Barbara continues with us. Thank you both for being here. And Kim, I want to start with you. Um, you make these unbelievable homemade cakes from an old family recipe, and I'm curious when you realized that those recipes could actually turn into a real business. Well, your local community can only, can only support you so much. You know, they've been very generous, but we really wanted to, when I say we, my mother and I, really wanted to get it out there and have it, um, you know, as a mail order business so people can order online from our website, and so we could ship our cakes and increase our customer base. And as soon as you did that, you realized people will order online. This isn't just limited to the people in my neighborhood who know me well. People who don't even know me will buy from me. That they will, and then they'll tell their friends, and they know, then it just really snowballs for, uh, for the business and getting those cakes everywhere for special occasions and um, for birthdays and holidays. Oh, great. All right. Well, I know when you were on Shark Tank, all of the sharks agreed that the cakes were amazing, but only Barbara decided to mm -hmm. invest. So tell me what you learned from the skepticism from the other sharks. Why is it that they weren't willing to put their, their money where their mouth was telling them this stuff was amazing? Well, I, I thought that was interesting, Tori, because like Barbara noticed, the men, they really did keep eating the cake and um, ooing and eyeing over it. But the, um, it, it, it was a, a bit humbling that, you know, I got the rejection and then, you know, exhilarating, of course, that Barbara did invest. But, um, you know, that, that she saw potential, whereas they saw us as a, the men saw my mother and me as a small business and we just needed to keep doing what we were doing. And that's not, that wasn't our plan. We wanted to grow the business and make it big. And that's, thanks to Barbara, that's what's happening. That's right. Well, so it turned out to be a good thing that those guys passed because you did, you got the winner with Barbara. Why did you say yes? Why I, were you the lone shark sitting there saying yes? I saw a woman who really believed in what she was doing. I saw a committed family that was willing to help her out. I saw someone who had been through a lot of rough times and come out of them, so she had stamina. She was going to be a fighter. And I saw delicious cake. Those men, the more they asked questions, the more, more they d degraded her to a degree, the more they were chewing the cake. They wouldn't stop eating. So I just decided to trust what I saw versus what I was hearing. And I figured these cakes are going to sell. And by the way, I knew it was the best cake I had ever tasted. Wow. All right. So what do you, tell, me, tell me what you expect from Kim. I expect her to be the new Paula Dean. I saw a woman who had tremendous charisma, could sell her product, could stand and hold her own, and had a phenomenal product. And I thought the world was ready for her. I saw tomorrow's Paula Dean without any doubt. And I believe that's exactly where she'll wind up. How are you going to help her get there? I'm going to market the bananas out of her. So oh, I was careful with my language <laughs> yeah. here. Okay. I'm going to market Shops. her and make her the front man of her product. We're going to manufacture this cake in a home way, in a homemade kind of way that she does with her mother every day of the week. And we're going to build that business. Wow. That sounds exciting, Kim. I know. I tell you what, to have Barbara's clever, clever business savvy behind me and her, she's so creative and she's so focused on, you would think I was her only business. That's how well, I feel. I feel like you're she's the apple just of my heart. all you about all me the other and all about my business. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Thank you, Barbara. You really do make me feel like I'm your only girl. That's, that's good. My, my dad had 10 kids and he made us all feel like we were the only children. I think I learned that from him. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. That's a, that's a oh. gift. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're not supposed to make us all. Oh. Okay. So you made a really clever deal also mm -hmm. in $50,000 and you get paid back a dollar every time Kim sells a cake. Do you know how exciting it is to get a dollar per cake to yeah. actually see a return on your investment from the very first sale? From day one. From day one. So Kim, do you feel the pressure? Do you feel the pressure to pay back the money? Say yes. You know, I think it's going to happen a whole, a whole lot sooner. Yeah, it is pressure, but it's going to happen a whole lot sooner than anybody imagined, I think, too, Barbara, don't you? I mean, yes, there's pressure, but, you know, I, how many you cakes, can feel it. It's just coming. For the it's record, all good. It's already here. How many cakes have you sold? I just want to check my check amount. How many to date have you sold? Oh, my gosh. Well, we'll probably have to verify that with Danny, but close to 5,000 already, and it's all only right. been a month. 
That's not a bad return on fifty thousand dollars for one month. <laughs> we get it. We get a. I want more shares. One. Oh, and look, I, I want to. I want to show you this. This is um, our first customer, Barbara. It took him four hours to get through since the website crashed, but his name's David Vavrick. He's from Crown Point, Indiana. And he uh, took him four hours, but he became number, purchaser number one well, of our Send me that money. Send me that money. That's my dollar there. I'm going to send it. I'm going to send it. It's your and dollar. Then, and then you guys will take a, a picture of the check with the date on it and send it to those guys who passed and oh, say, yeah. look what could have been yours, right? You rub it in one their face dollar. a little bit. So the last exactly. question, I, I, I would love to ask you, Barbara. So I know that in, in Kim's case, she knew that she had more than just this family recipe when she put it online and saw that other people besides those who knew her would buy it. What what are some of the other things that someone could do if they think that hmm, maybe I've got this family recipe or maybe I'm really creative at something? How do I know that I could actually turn this thing into a business? I think much like Kim and her mother, I think you have to test drive it. You have to prove that you can sell it. If you have your local people buying it, you might have the potential to sell it online to take it from there. Certainly she outgrew her local market and so it was ready to go without any doubt. Oh, all right. Oh, well, um, now I'm hoping that everybody's going to want to taste this cake. I love right? daisycakes.com. I Come love, on, you're supposed to be helping us sell this Believe stuff. me, we're going to sell it. We're going to put it up on the screen. We're going to do everything. <laughs> so, Kim, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we're excited to track your success. You. And uh, Barbara, she of course, it. keep us posted, and so will you. And if you want to taste a daisy cake for yourself or you want to buy a whole lot of them, um, go to <laughs> one I, at a time, time ilovedaisycakes.com. But you can order, though, for, like, everybody in the family, oh, right? Yeah, you can place a lot of orders. Even behind in our orders, we can't keep up with the pace. All right. Be <laughs> patient then. Be patient then. I love daisycakes.com.